Hey, Rob, uh, Coach Woodson's emphasized that he sees this next game against Purdue as the next game on the schedule. Do you hold that same mindset or does being from Indiana and Lafayette specifically kind of give you an extra push? Oh, uh, yeah, it definitely does. Just being here, um, just growing up, seeing that rivalry, um, being from Lafayette, like you said, you see the, the bad blood that's between Bloomington and Lafayette. So, yeah, I feel like all the guys from Indiana know how important this game is and um, really this is going to be big for the Big Ten. Um, I feel like it's going to be huge for us at the end of the season. Tom. Hey, Rob, I was uh, doing a little research looking back. It's been, you know, since 2016 that Indiana has beaten Purdue, and, you know, that was during your uh, your great high school year there where you guys went to state. When uh, when you had first uh, committed to Indiana being in Lafayette, how were you uh, sort of treated by fans and, and the reaction to around town to you, for you uh, when you once you had committed to Indiana living there and right there in Lafayette? Um, I wouldn't say it was it, really, it wasn't as bad as everyone makes it seems. Like I still I still get a lot of love from Lafayette and a lot of Purdue fans. But the main thing they say is, um, whenever Purdue and IU play, they'll root for me, but they'll never root for IU. So that's the biggest thing. Evan. Hi, Rob. Um, so you played Purdue uh, a bunch over your career. You're probably familiar with them. Uh, how does that fami familiarity help defensively, uh, especially against, you know, guards you might be covering, such as Jaden Ivory and Stefan Stefanovic? Um, yeah, I mean, I watch them all the time. I mean, I have a, lot, a couple of friends with the team, so I'm, I'm friends with them. So I know a lot of what they run. And um, I mean, it's pretty similar to what they've been running in the past, too. So. Uh, yeah, it's really big on um, – they have a lot of off-ball off -ball screens where they come off triple screens, down screens, and then they like to play off, play out the post a lot. So um, our, our coaches and um, our coaches have really done a good good job this week on the scout, and um, I feel like we'll be ready tomorrow. Schumann. Yeah, Rob, <clears throat> during this losing streak to them, do you feel like a theme has emerged? It's like, yeah, th this is the the one or two main things that always seems to, to pop up in that game, and it's the reason why we haven't been able to get over the hump against them? Uh, are you – like, what theme? Like, like is, is there a theme that is the – you would say are, is the reason why you guys haven't been able to beat Purdue? Is, in in game, is there like one or two things that they've done or you've done that that hasn't gone your way? Uh, I know I would really say there's a theme, but I mean it's it's just Purdue. They're they're just really hard to guard the the way they they run their offense. They run they cut really hard and they're big set really good screen, so they're a difficult a difficult cover. But um, I mean I feel like we'll be really we'll be ready this year for them. Pegram. Hey Rob, ticket prices are pretty ridiculous for tomorrow's game. Five hundred dollars and up for good seats. Uh, when you hear that, what does that tell you about what the atmosphere will be like tomorrow? Uh, it's going to be crazy. I mean, not having fans here last year, uh, I feel like was a big part. But yeah, just the the energy with um, both teams this year. There's a lot of a lot more buzz. I feel like between the two teams this year. So I'm just ready to go out there and uh, just see how it feels out there. Dustin. Hey, Rob, obviously one of your strengths as a defender is the ability to uh, stop guys that want to uh, just beat you off the dribble. I imagine that means you're probably going to have to deal with uh, Jaden Ivey a decent bit. I mean, what's um, what makes him tough to stop? What makes him different, I guess, as far as trying to stop what he wants to do uh, going off the bounce? Uh, yeah, he's really – I feel like he's, he really excels in transition. And he, once he gets the ball in transition, it's hard to stop him. So uh, I'll say keep him in half court and um, – Planning with the set defense is going to be a good thing for us, and then um, really just him playing off the bounce. Um, his first his first stride is really long, and he knows how to really use his length. So I feel like it's going to have to be a team effort, and everyone's going to have to be locked in on all their coverages. Dustin. Okay, <laughs> I'll ask another one. Fine. Um, I just want to talk a little bit more about what you said about what they run um, so well in, in the screen space. I mean, just what what impresses you just about, I guess, the, the sophistication of their offense? How has it changed in the years that you've played them? And, and are they operating any differently 
uh, this season just w- with the, the amount of stuff they run through those two bigs? Uh, I would say a little bit, but it really just depends on the personnel and who's in the game. I mean, I feel like it's kind of similar to my um, the freshman year when Jaden Ivey, they used him kind of like Carson Edwards where they used guards a little bit more with ball screens with him. Um, and then uh, they used to find a pitch like him uh, with Ryan Klein coming off a lot of a lot of screens. Um, so, yeah, it's pretty similar. And then obviously they throw it in. I feel like they throw it in a lot more than they did in the past because they have those the two headed monsters down there. So it's, uh, they're, they're going to be a tough cover to guard. But um, I mean, we'll be ready. Jim Coyle. Rob, this should be the most explosive. We talked about the atmosphere a minute ago, but this should actually be the most explosive atmosphere since you've actually been at Indiana. Um, how might that help you guys? Uh, and is there sometimes that that noise actually hurts you all? Uh, I, w- I would say at home it doesn't hurt us at all. But I mean, definitely um, the home as- atmosphere is going to help us. I feel like it once we get on a run, it's 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 easier to score, and then I feel like it's easier to get stops because it it affects the the away team. So, yeah, we're just going to need the student section and everybody there just to be into the game, and I feel like we're going to feed off that energy. Jeffrey Abjohn. Hey, I got two, but the first one's real quick. The Crimson Guard the student section, they're trying to get all the students to suit up, you know, wear suits. I know that's kind of a silly thing, but it's kind of become a thing. Just do you guys even notice that? Is it cool that the students are doing that? Just what do you think about that? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'd be crazy to see everyone in a suit. I mean, I doubt it'll happen, but just to see everyone in a suit. Yeah, obviously, we see all the things that what I think we're, we're 12 or well, I don't know if you can consider that that last game a, a suit or not. But I mean, we're undefeated with the suit because that's what he always wears at home. So, yeah, I mean, our main goal is to stay undefeated at home. And I feel like uh, we can, if we do that, we'll have a big shot at the Big Ten at the end of the year. And, um, yeah, we're really just looking forward to the atmosphere tomorrow. And um, if we see everyone in suits tomorrow, it'll be, it'll be pretty funny, honestly. And the, uh, and the basketball, thanks for that. Um, and the basketball question I had, you guys have been much better offensively since the Penn State game. In the Penn State game, there were stretches where there wasn't a lot of movement. The movement's been better. The just some points per possession, other things have been a little better. Why is that? What, what has improved over the last couple of weeks? Um, I say our movement when the ball goes into the post. Uh, I feel like before that we were stagnant and we didn't really get a lot of off more off ball de- off ball movement. So our the defense really set and it was easier to guard us. So I feel like just playing out of the post and just having different movements, different cuts that we do um, really opens up the floor for everyone. Thanks, man. Kevin, Alex, and we'll finish up with Tyler. Yeah. Um... Just ending the streak, uh, I mean, is there a feeling amongst the teammates here, particularly you being a senior, enough is enough and you don't want to go out, you know, not losing to Purdue? And also the confidence that you guys play with at home, what has been what have been some of the keys as far as, you know, maintaining that home win streak, you think? Yeah, there's definitely an optimistic feeling in the, like in the building. So, yeah, um, really guys are just really energetic in practice. And, um, I mean, we're, it's something we've really talked about since the beginning of the year. So, yeah, I mean, everyone's really ready for tomorrow, and uh, we just really can't wait to get out there. Alex. Hey, Rob. I'm not sure if you saw Coach Woodson's comments earlier, but he he mentioned that you maybe had a tough go of it in the past. Uh, I guess he's referencing previous seasons. I guess from a mental standpoint, are you uh, more confident this year in – what he says that he also said that you know he's got a he, he tries to show you a lot of love and lets you know that he, that he cares about you. What kind of things, uh, conversation wise, do you guys talk about and do you feel that obviously from him on a day to day basis? Uh, really, I feel like it just starts with practice. I feel like, uh, yeah, that's the biggest thing. The biggest change is just the conversation he has with everybody, really, in practice. Just the whether you miss a shot, whether you turn the ball over, whatever, it's on to the next play in. It really doesn't dwell on the past. So that's a big thing. So, uh, yeah, he just wants you to move forward. And, um, I mean, his biggest his biggest thing, I feel like he even talked to the team about it last week about, I mean, he feels like if you dwell on the past, you really can't be successful in life or in sports. So, uh, really, it's on to the next play, on to the next next thing, no matter what happens. Last question, Tyler. Hey, Rob, I hope you're doing well. Um, you've played with Trace his entire career at IU. Um, what's the biggest way that you feel like you've seen him grow, uh, maybe not 
in terms of like his tangible uh, skills, but kind of more like from a leadership aspect or, or the kind of the kind of stuff that he does off the court? Uh, I would say definitely his um, his communication, um, whether it's uh, like he's well on the court to um, him talking more in practice and uh, him just getting guys ready to go is his intensity he always has. So, yeah, he's really a super friendly guy. He likes to he likes to have the team together all the time. So. So, yeah, from a leadership standpoint, I feel like he brings guys together. Um, it really just he just wants to win. I mean, that's the biggest thing.